saints, people of God, people who believe in Jesus Christ, I cannot stress how important this is, that the Lord has just laid this so heavily on my heart. But I was reading in Matthew chapter 25, and it talks about the brides, the brides who were waiting for the bridegroom, but half of them didn't have enough oil and their lamps weren't trimmed. And so when the bridegroom was about to come, they heard the trumpet shout, and they knew the bridegroom was coming. And so they said, give us some of your oil. We're running out. And the other ones who were prepared said, no, go get your own oil, go buy your own oil. And so they left and went to go buy their own oil. But while they had left to go buy their own oil, the bridegroom came and they went in and shut the door. But when the other bride, when the other brides had come to the door from buying their oil, they knocked on the door and said, open up the door, let us in. And the bridegroom said, I don't know you. Listen to me how important this is. You can be a Christian and still go to church every Sunday. And you can still believe that Jesus died for you on the cross. But if you don't have a relationship with him in the secret place, you will not go to heaven because Jesus won't know you. You have to have a relationship with him. Spend time with him. Spend time with him. Get to know him. Because without that, you won't get into heaven. Doesn't matter what you believe, you won't get into heaven. It says so right there in the Bible. There's another verse that says, but Lord, Lord, we cast demons out in your name. We prophesied in your name. We did miracles in your name. And the Lord says, depart from me, you wicked servants. I did not know you. So what's the common theme here? The Lord did not know them. How do you get to know somebody? You spend time with them. So people of God, spend time with him. Get to know him, lest you be turned away when the rapture comes.